Hi, today we're going to talk about integrated thinking and integrated reporting. So what is integrated thinking? Integrated thinking is about connecting performance with purpose. It maps the relevant issues, opportunities, risks, areas of resistance for the business to strengthen awareness of and commitment to identify problems to achieve expectation change, considering both organization and its stakeholders' perspective. It maps stakeholders that will assist the business for each of the identified issues. Besides that, it capitalizes on the stakeholder listening and feedback tools, for example, surveys, interviews that are currently used to map issues and stakeholders within organizations. So what is integrated reporting? Integrated reporting is IR, which is integrated report, which is more holistic form of reporting that aims to address limitations of current reports and develop long-term business strategy. How does it work? Integrated thinking is integral to the concept of integrated reporting, much like the riddle which came first, the chicken or the egg. It's impossible truly to embrace integrated reporting without embracing the concept of integrated thinking throughout the organization. So it starts from identifying relevant issues and stakeholders, identifying and engaging the leaders, and the key performance indicators. After that, we are going to define and implement a change action plan, what action we are going to take, and lastly, setting up an integrated report on all forms of value creation. Managers adopt IR as part of management interpolation between the organization and its stakeholders. So how does managerial stakeholders theory relate to IR? It's important to understand the needs and expectations of stakeholders. For managerial stakeholders theories, we focus on powerful stakeholders, for example, investors and shareholders. Through integrated thinking and reporting, the business enhances the way organizations think, plan, and report the business. When those stakeholders are not getting the information they need, there's lack of communications. Investors and shareholders do not know how well the business is operating, whether they are having profit or loss in a business, the strategy of the business in the future in order for them to make that decision. As a result, there will be lack of trust with them. The business can reduce the complexity and shorten the report, focusing on what the powerful stakeholders want and expect to reduce the confusion. The accounting series is agency theory. It's a common economic theory of financial reporting and creates a contractual agency relationship between shareholders and the managers in the company. Regulators and the managers support IR to reduce information accuracy and improve allocation of financial capital. As managers mainly focus on short-term profits while shareholders consider about future benefits, to align these two parties' interests, cash and stocks can be mixed to pay to managers. As stocks increase managers' ownership in the company, this will help them invest in more risky opportunities. Also, managers' bonus can be linked with profits. To get more bonus, they will try to seek more profits. IR can be viewed as a form of monitoring cost. It makes company disclose how they intend to generate value over the long term to improve the allocation of financial capital. In order for a business to survive, it's important for business to focus on more than one stakeholder as one influences another. IR reflects how an organization creates value over time. It provides a concise overview of the business its strategy, governance, performance, and the prospects. While the focus on keeping reports concise is important, it shouldn't overread the need for the report to be informative. It's to reflect the complexity of the affairs of many organizations and the range of information needs of stakeholders, including providers of financial capital.